Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. And for those who have not yet, please, let's consider subscribing. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video. Comment in the comment section down below and I will be so grateful. Uh, today, I want us to look at chronic respiratory disease in our poultry farms. And uh, in simple terms, you can call it cough. Uh, how you can treat it, how you can prevent birds from getting it, and uh, some of the signs and symptoms of, of this chronic respiratory disease that I'll brought you from, how you can know your birds have it. And uh, we are also going to mix quite a number of herbal plants to, and we give to our birds today, and the dose that we can give to our birds. So, mm, you must know that there are quite a number of these herbal plants that we can use in our poultry farms but one thing that i want you to know is that uh, always try to use these herbal plants early enough before the birds getting sick to prevent them from getting some of these diseases okay and um use what you can afford to get because i know that uh uh, some people may not be able to get some of these herbal plants, but if you can afford to get all of them, use all of them. But if you cannot afford them all, please, or you cannot find them in your location where you stay, try to use what is available. So let's stay tuned till the end and I'll be right back. As I told you earlier on, today I want us to look at uh, the chronic respiratory disease in our poultry farms, okay? Whenever you see your chicken sneezing or coughing, just know they are affected by chronic respiratory disease. However, there are some, some of these chicken diseases such as Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis, fall cholera among others which can also show the same signs and symptoms like the chronic respiratory disease but in most cases when your birds are sneezing or coughing just know they are affected by the chronic respiratory disease what are some of the causes of this chronic respiratory disease the main cause of the chronic respiratory disease is bacteria in our poultry farms however there are also some stress factors such as uh, lack of enough space like for example you have congested buds in one in one chicken house like um like in poultry they normally say that uh, if you're going to use the depleter system make sure that um four birds in one square meter but you find that some of you farmers end up putting even six birds in one square meter eight birds in one square meter in that way birds can be too congested the house can be too dirty uh, like the birds can be so congested in that um they are they are so squeezed that they can easily get this this chronic respiratory disease and then another stress factor that can lead to this chronic respiratory disease is um lack of enough vitamins in our buds okay make sure that all the food values all the food nutrients are available in this chicken feed so that they get enough vitamins so that they can be able to fight some of this chronic respiratory disease and another stress factor can also be um uh, poor welfare in our poultry in our poultry farms here i mean that if the, the chicken house is too dusty it is uh, the ammonia it is too wet that brings in so much too much ammonia gas that way our chicken will always get this chronic respiratory diseases okay even if the the feeds are not like the feeds are not okay some like some sometimes some of these feeds that are mixed you find that others are spoiled others are cooked and has a bad smell so in that way if our chicken co ends up consuming these feeds they also end up getting this this chronic respiratory diseases even dirty even dirty water okay you find other farmers they end up giving this chicken dirty water uh or even when they how the water the water keeps pouring in the house you find chicken always gather in where water is pouring and they keep on drinking that water which is which has poured down or oh, if the house is leaking and it keeps dripping you will find chicken are full there busy drinking that water which is dripping in the house and remember it has been mixed up with that poop okay and the birds will end up drinking it and it will bring this chronic respiratory diseases another another factor stress factor that can bring this chronic respiratory disease it is extreme temperature this 
this I mean that when the temperature is too too cold, these birds also end up getting this chronic respiratory diseases. And then also if the temperature is too too hot, our birds also will end up getting this chronic respiratory diseases, okay? So how do a farmer, how can you know or I know that my birds are being affected by this chronic respiratory diseases, okay? There are some signs and symptoms that you can see among your birds and just know the birds are affected by the chronic respiratory disease. Number one is um, coughing. When you hear your birds coughing continuously, like you hear this one coughing, the other one coughing just know you have been invaded by the chronic respiratory disease okay and then also if you hear your bird sneezing please do not take it for granted just know they have this chronic respiratory disease and then if you see your birds having the swollen face some of these birds will develop swollen faces just know they have chronic respiratory disease if also they have the nozzle discharge always observe your buds very well if their nose is dropping like so watery just know they are also being affected by the chronic respiratory disease and in layers in layers if you see your buds have dropped in laying please be so eager to know why the buds have dropped in laying it could also be chronic respiratory disease okay so those are some of the signs and symptoms that uh, you can observe among your birds and you know that your birds are being affected by this chronic respiratory disease so how can someone prevent this chronic respiratory disease from entering our farms or from affecting our birds of course first of all you have to you have to avoid you have to avoid these stress factors that can bring this disease to our poultry farm uh always make sure that your chicken house is clean enough clean the clean the drinkers clean the feeders always change the chicken change the chicken beddings okay don't leave it there for so long in a way that uh, the birds will start and it will be so dusty or the birds will end up sneezing and coughing and in that way we shall be able to prevent this chronic respiratory disease from entering our farm also avoid the house i think this one i've really over talked about it avoid the ho chicken house which which has avoid pouring of water in the chicken house avoid the chicken house which always leaks whenever it rains okay in that way because that an ammonia gas is so so dangerous to our but it also brings in this chicken respiratory disease okay and um of course always make sure that uh, the feeds the feeders are filled up with the feeds chicken has enough clean water and in that way and make sure that the feeds all have all the nutrients that we that we this birds need in there in their feeds okay and in that way if we avoid this all these stress factors we shall always try to prevent this chronic respiratory disease among our poultry farms now today i want us to look at some of these herbal plants that we can mix to to prevent these birds from getting this chronic respiratory disease of that can cure this chronic respiratory disease in our poultry farms but i want you to know that uh, whenever you're giving these birds these herbal remedies make sure you try to give them early enough before the birds get this 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 diseases or make sure that um Whenever you hear the, make sure that you give them immediately the birds contract this chronic respiratory disease. Immediately you hear your birds sneezing like this. Don't let it to sleep the next day, the next day, and you start giving. Give the very day you hear them sneeze. Just give them this herbal medicine immediately. So we are going to, today we are going to mix a uh, ginger. We are going to mix moringa powder. We are going to mix uh, aloe vera plant. And we are also going to make chili pepper to, to cure this chronic respiratory disease in our poultry farms. Okay. For ginger, I've talked about I've talked about ginger in this project in this in this channel. So whoever has not yet watched some of the benefits of ginger in our poultry farms, please go and watch it. But you must know that ginger is one magical herbal plant which contains of vitamin B and C, and it also has minerals like phosphorus, aluminium calcium and it also contains healing properties as well which can help these birds to fight against this common chronic respiratory disease okay so we are also going to mix it today and then if we talk about 
chili pepper. Chili pepper is a rich source of carotenoid such as vitamin C and E and provitamin A. We are also going to mix it today and I will show you how we can mix them all to cure this chronic respiratory disease. We are also going to mix moringa powder in that in that cocktail to see how we can give these birds to prevent them from getting the chronic respiratory disease and to cure this chronic respiratory disease. Uh, but you must know that moringa leaves are rich in nutrients like iron, protein, carotenoids, and ascorbic acids. Moringa has so many beneficial effects in poultry farming, which also helps these birds to fight against some of these respiratory diseases. Okay? And uh, we are also going to mix uh, aloe vera. I've also talked about aloe vera in this YouTube channel. So if you have not yet watched about aloe vera, the benefits of aloe vera in our poultry farms, please go and watch it. You will like it. But you must know that aloe vera is one herbal plant which is rich in vitamins, minerals, and enzymes that promotes overall good health in our, in our chicken. So how do I mix all these herbal plants and give to the birds? Now, I normally get a uh, ginger and uh, aloe vera and um, two chili pepper. I normally use the small ones and I always pound it together. But for someone who has a blender, you can also put it in the blender and just blend it. Or you can even grate it. But me, I normally pound it. For people who may not be able to access the blender or electricity, you can pound it. Then after pounding it and it is soft, you already, I always bring one cup of water and mix it. I, after mixing it, then I bring one tablespoon of moringa powder and i also mix it then how do i give it to the chicken i always get three meals and mix in one liter of water of course that mixture is some it's it's very bitter okay so i just get three meals of it and mix it in one liter of water and give to the chicken for the chicken that are uh, which are not sick or which are not affected i just normally give them for three days i can give three days in a week okay but for those for the chicken which are already affected i can put in a uh, six meals in one liter of water and then i give them for seven days for seven days okay so that is how i normally give it to my chicken but one thing i want you to know is that let us try to use this herbal remedies as preventive methods to protect these birds from getting from getting sick okay let us not wait for the time when the birds are sick and we start looking for this herbal remedies and uh use what you can afford to get if you cannot manage to get all of them use what is available so that is all i have for you for today uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're still new, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video. Comment in the comment section down below. Tell us which country you're watching out from. It should be so happy. See you next time. Bye-bye.